Jenny Beth Martin is the co-founder of Tea Party Patriots. She's an author, podcaster, filmmaker, and one of Time Magazine's most influential people in the world. That's a pretty big deal. She's got a new documentary. It's called Innovation Race, and it exposes how China has hijacked America's economic innovation and national security, and also how we can take it back. If another country becomes more innovative than us, they then set the baseline for the creation of these technologies. We have to go to them for those technologies. So if another country, oh, China, is trying to develop base stations for 5G and other types of technologies and artificial intelligence, then we would have to get those technologies from them. The Chinese have a repeatable model in addressing our processes. It's evade, embrace, supplant. Who's going to be in charge? Who's going to be on top? That's what they think about. An American corporation does not think in those terms. Please welcome the incredible mind and passion behind Innovation Race and its executive producer, Jenny Beth Martin. Jenny Beth, great having you here. Thank you. I'm so glad to be here. I am intrigued by this whole idea that most Americans just don't even think about. And that is we in invent something here, we innovate some new technology, and then the Chinese steal it from us. Yes. How big a deal is that? How much but is happening? That is, that is a big deal, and that has been happening in the past. What's happening right now is that they have strengthened their patent system in China, while America has been weakening our patent system. And what most Americans don't realize is that um, patents and intellectual property are actually protected in Article One of the Constitution. So it's, it is part of the Constitution, and it, it, it's property rights. China isn't protecting yeah. it, in, or China is now protecting more than America. Now, you and I both know they don't have the same kind of respect for property rights and human yeah. rights, yeah. so it's kind of iffy. But right now, they're doing a better job of protecting patent rights, and we've got people who are no longer patenting here. They're hiding their, their new inventions and either going to China or just never letting the world know about amazing new technologies that could change the world. Well, what should we be doing differently so that we could protect protect the intellectual property that has been created by American minds. Well, we need to, there are several different things. One is that the first to invent needs to be protected. We've gotten away from that. So if you're the first person to invent something, you should be able to be the one to protect it rather than the person who races to the patent office mm. to patent it. Um, there's injunctive relief, which is a legal term, but it's very important because if somebody's trying to steal your intellectual property, you can stop them through the court system. Those are a couple of very important things. Another thing is that um, right now there is a um, court. It's not a real, it isn't, the, it's a court of experts who come in and after the patent has been given by the United States Patent and Trademark Office, they go over to a court within it and the court winds up invalidating the patents. And if you're a patent holder, you can wind up with many different um, threats to your patent in this, in this court and it, it, it doesn't stop. So we, once you have the patent and it has been proven that it really and truly is yours, it shouldn't be abused. This, the legal system shouldn't be abused to attack it over and over and over. And we're talking about millions, maybe could potentially be billions of dollars that somebody would lose because someone stole their idea, yes. stole what they invented, yes. uh, and, and just took it and pretended that they had come up with it. That is exactly right. Um, and, and we've seen that happen. This is the second documentary we've done on the patent system. In the first one, we really highlighted the story of a man who invented a bunch of balloons. They, um, <laughs> it, it, they fill 100 balloons in like yeah. 90 seconds or 60 seconds. And his patent, his, pro his intellectual property was stolen and another company was infringing on it. Ultimately, he wound up being able to keep his patent, but it's very difficult. He's the exception right now because of changes to our laws since 2010 and some really bad court decisions as well. You know, I, I know this happens because I don't know, a lot of people don't know this. I invented the iPhone. And uh, there you go. Kind of like Al Gore invented I, the internet. Exactly. <laughs> you know, and Al never got all the money that he should have had, and I've never gotten a royalty from the iPhone. I don't understand that. In all seriousness, one of the things you point out in the documentary um, that I think is important is, is just how many ways in which people from China have not just spied, but they have stolen the property 
And sometimes one was a UCLA professor and he was working for the Communist Chinese Party. Jenny Beth, we're surrounded by people who are truly our enemies. We are, and, it, it, and that is very alarming. And this problem with the patent system, it, it is an esoteric topic that most Americans don't think about, but we see it as a, the race between America and China when it comes to technological innovation, just like what we saw in the space race with America and the Soviet Union. We have to win, we have to win at this race. And, um, it's, it's fixable. The problem is fixable. It was a bad law. We need to fix it. And Mike, we're the we're Tea Party patriots, yeah, right? Yeah. Uh, Senator Chris Coons allowed us to interview him. We have Democrats in this film and Republicans in the film. It is not a left-right issue. It's yeah. an American issue. And we need to get this right for America. Do you have enough traction within the Congress? I, I mean, I'm thrilled that both parties realize this is important. So why don't they do it? Um, well, I think that we will have enough traction. Both Senator Coons and Senator Tillis both committed before the election that regardless of who won the, the majority in the Senate, they were going to take up a bill and work to strengthen the patent system. Now, it's Congress. We have to watch it and make sure it's a good bill. Yeah. But, but it's good that they're both committed to doing that. And we need to be paying attention to that as a new Congress starts in January. Well, and people need to see this film because, you know, one of the things people want to know, is America really better at creating stuff than the Chinese? I think that, yes, we are better at creating stuff. And most importantly, because of our respect for property, both intellectual and physical property in, in America, we, we protected it in a way that had never been done before our country. We protected intellectual property in a way that had never been done before our country formed. And it's part of what has led to so much innovation in the entire world. Inventors would come here to patent because they knew America would protect their property. We have to get back to that. It is an important topic, and uh, I think the film is going to be very eye-opening to people, especially when they realize just how many ways in which people are trying to steal the ideas that people have uh, maybe started on their kitchen table but went to the laboratory and came up with it. Uh, Jenny Beth, thank you for uh, taking on the topic and getting it to Congress. If you'd like more information on the innovation race and how you can see the film, as well as listen to Jenny Beth Martin's Innovation Race podcast, if you go to Huckabee.tv, we have links to all of the things that we've been talking about. So please just make a note, go to Huckabee.tv and get the connection. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I hope you will now. The button is just below this video and there's a little bell next to it. If you click on those, YouTube will reluctantly start letting you know when we've got a new video uploaded.